Hey guys, we are in the last week of the Smart Contract Hackathon. And thank you very much for uh, coming this far and we are almost there. I wanna uh, make this video to uh, give you some tips on the presentation and putting your demo together. So let me share my screen and share. Awesome. Let me know if you can see my screen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. So here are some presentation tips for putting your, dem uh, your demo in demo together. Uh, so now the first thing that I, I want to cover is how to record your video. Now, this video that you're watching now was recorded using Zoom. Uh, super easy. Now you may have simple, uh, you may have screen capturing software uh, already installed. Feel free to use that. Um, the uh, in in Windows you can use QuickTime, which is free, and there is a screen recording uh, that you can use. I love it. I use it a lot. I think the only um, the only thing that's not fantastic about it is that you cannot pause and then resume recording. While you can do that uh, in in um, Zoom, okay. So Zoom will be a good option. So you would. You install Zoom, make sure you have an account. I sure, I'm sure most of you do. And then just uh, start a meeting and hit the record button and it will save locally to your computer. Um, so that's a good option. You can pause at the top corner. There's a way to pause the recording and resume. Now, in terms of diagramming, there may be parts where you need to show a little diagram, which helps a lot uh, because you wanna say that, well, I have two contracts and then this one will trigger that one. So uh, you don't have to use any professional architect software to do that. You can use PowerPoint or slides and just drag, drag and drop boxes with arrows, and that should be that should be good enough. Uh, or you can uh, use uh, screenshots of whatever software that you have, and just grab a screenshot using uh, your Mac or your Windows using a snipping tool, and that's perfectly fine. Now the second thing is uploading a video. I think the best option is to use YouTube or maybe even Vimeo. And in YouTube, you can upload it and mark it as unlisted. But keep in mind that unlisted means that if anybody has the URL, they can see it. Uh, so if you want to, you can mark it as private, but make sure that the password, uh, whatever mechanism you have in whatever video platform is, um, is shared with us. Um, and feel free to delete it, uh, your video uh, out of the, the platform uh, well after the winners have been announced. That's absolutely fine with us. Now, presentation format. Um, I like to break it into three parts. The first minute, the last minute, and the in-between. The first minute is about context setting. Now, remember that your judges come from all different industries and they may or may not be familiar. So some of you may have projects in manufacturing, in agriculture, in inventory management, in healthcare. So there are things that we uh, may not understand and you don't have to go at length to explain it, um, and, but you want to get quickly to how it is a problem. And typically it is a problem because it's insecure, people can cheat, it costs a lot of money, it costs a lot of time. So you wanna to get to that quickly uh, while you explain the, uh, the context. Um, and you want to narrow down to a problem space that you are solving. Obviously not the whole industry is broken. You wanna go quickly to the problem that you're trying to solve and then uh, talk about your approach. Now, your approach is to create a, a smart contract that will do the following things. Now in the middle is the meat of your presentation. And you want that to, uh, you want to obviously demo a very simple uh, user flow, the, the click through, if you will. So you want to go, uh, well, I am Alice, I am the patient, I am the uh, construction uh, person, I am the uh, lawyer, and I'm, I'm doing this now. I'm creating a contract now. And then this will be passed off to another party, which is the uh, the client, the doctor, the uh, the factory, and then I'm going to exercise this choice. So as you're talking through that story, you are showing uh, the, the 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 UI clicks, and this could be in the navigator. And then uh, 
you spend about half the time there. And the second half, you will tell the behind the scenes story, if you will. Now that you have told a story, you're going to show how it was done in demo. And this is where you fire up Visual Studio Code and walk through the, uh, the, the same story that you told and how each line corresponds to the creation of the contract, to the exercising of the choice and things like that. The last minute. The last minute you want to spend on uh, talking about natural next steps uh, because there's no time to, to deliver a complete production ready, unicorn ready app, right? Not in six weeks. So you want to be able to say, well, obviously we need to make sure that we involve the doctors in this flow. Maybe we need to create another signatory that is the, uh, some government agency. And you don't have to implement it, but you can talk about it. That's uh, quite quite glaring and, and absent in your presentation. And that's okay, right? And then any extension that you may want to talk about. Uh, one good way to think about extension is if you're talking about, if you develop something for doctors, what about dentists? You know, what about other healthcare providers, right? If you're talking about inventory in the... Uh, in the uh, automotive space. Now, what if they want to make plastic toys for kids? Would your system uh, go well with that? Could it be applied to another scenario? So there are good extensions to talk about. Now, please don't do the following things. Uh, don't introduce yourself, don't spend time introducing yourself beyond just a name. So you wanna start off by saying, hey, I am Steve Xiao and uh, so the world of agriculture has this da 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 da, da and you, you tell the story. Don't tell me, um, we, we know your name. We have a lot of background information that Dev Post tells us. So you don't really have to go into that. Don't tell me when you were born, where you were born, and, and you like long, week, long walks on the beach. Um, and we, we don't need to know that. We would love to know that, but we need more time. <laughs> so don't talk about that. Uh, just say who you are and then start talking about the industry and the space and, and your approach. Uh, do not present any business plan or uh, like, well, I'm going to show you this hockey stick and this, if you invest in me, it will be a bazillion dollars in three months and then it will be a unicorn in, in, in six. No, don't, don't talk about this business plan at all. Um, any business plan, right? We, we, we are interested, but this for the scope of this hackathon, it's all about applying demo into uh, to solving a problem. Then talk about things like uh, TAM as well. Your total addressable market is $30 billion and things like that. I don't give any Elon Musk quotes as well. We, we don't need that. Um, now, don't spend time or money or effort making any explainer videos or anything that would, you have to invest like, you know, 30 minutes uh, to produce a, a five second, 10 second, one minute clip to insert into your presentation. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's not worth the, the ROI is just not there. Don't, don't spend that much time to compress something to something into a, a five second video or 10 second video. So don't do that. Don't spend any money on, on things like that or time. Uh, don't record in low resolution. Chances are you're recording on your, uh, if you're using Zoom, it records locally, the quality as it is should be fairly good. Now, if your resolution could be low, uh, try to zoom, zoom in. Uh, you, you can use uh, Visual Studio Code as a way to change your font so that the font appears bigger. That's good enough. And don't use any acronyms, abbreviations uh, that may be esoteric, that may be little known to other people. Uh, I mean, there are concepts that people may, may understand. Uh, some people in, the, in our world understand what the abbreviation KYC is. But if you just want to be safe, you, you can uh, 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 spell it out in its full name and then just quickly explain what, what that is. If there are, if there are, for example, in the world of inventory and shipping and trading, there are a lot of terms that describe if you are, um, if you are paying for something in advance, like uh, I forgot what the terms were. I think there was a uh, terms that, that decide if the money is uh, and terms are captured before shipment or after shipment, cash or delivery. There's a lot of terms like that. It's safer to just call out the whole abbreviation instead of just using those abbreviation and just uh, 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 presuming that your user know what it is, right? You don't want to lose your audience. Now, uh, also, do not 
have your viewers and the judges go to another website or to install something in order to understand what you have done. Um, for example, you do want to say that, well, uh, the second part of the demonstration, you need to install the iOS app and, uh, and make sure you install the second version and then install Node and then make sure that Flutter is running. So you don't want to have any extra uh, steps involved beyond just the video. Awesome. All right. So those are the tips. So good luck. And uh, we look forward to looking at your submissions. Bye-bye.